Hello, today we have selected one more topic which is very interesting for the civil engineers particularly how to choose their career as a bank panel valuator. So we are going to see a lot of things out here the eligibility criteria, the membership, where exactly they should be a member, what exams they have to take, where they have to register their themselves to become a bank panel valuator, how to approach the bank people and all those things we are going to see here. Also, I have given a link below in the description of different PDFs, references. You can refer it for your extra knowledge about this. Okay, we'll just see about this. What should be the eligibility criteria for a civil engineer to become a bank panel valuator? First, we have to see the eligibility criteria. So minimum of the minimum you should have be in civil engineering. A uh, few years back, they have taken out diploma in civil engineering previously diploma in civil engineers civil engineering degree people also could have applied for the bank panel valuator but now it has been removed then you should have minimum five years experience so what is this minimum five years experience they are asking here that is after completing your b or b tech in civil engineering you should be practicing as a consultant or in any of the company or teaching or as a valuer or you should be in the civil engineering field for minimum of five years you should have that experience practical knowledge about civil engineering so when you have that particular practical knowledge about civil engineering then only you can do the valuation of the property you will be knowing the core of the buildings what the land prices are going on how actually the people are purchasing the land on what basis the prices are going up and down all those things will be get to know only when you are having a particular experience okay so you should have minimum of five years experience then you should be in constant touch with a senior valuator in your city why i'm telling in your city because for example if i am from chikamagaluru okay i cannot do bank valuations in bangalore because i'll not be knowing the land prices different documentations and all those things with respect to bangalore city or with respect to delhi with respect to calcutta but when i am from my place okay chikmangalore i can i'll be knowing in and out of the land prices what's actually the market is how it is varying all those things so i can get more information accurate information in my local area compared to other areas therefore i'm mentioning there in your city because you should be in touch with a very good senior valuator in your city so that they will they have already experienced in this particular field depending on which what you can do is you can go to them and you can tell them to take up an internship program for a month or two months or six months or you can work as a junior valuator under them for few years also it doesn't make any problem for you you will learn a lot of things under them but without working under a senior valuator it is very difficult to get into the field of valuation because it is one of the very easy job also a risky job particularly in the field of civil engineering while i am telling risk because the bank people will release loan only finally after the valuation report arrived on their desk okay they will see the valuation report because the valuator will refer a lot of documents including the sale deed kata extracts other documents submitted to the lawyer by the client and also they will refer the legal report finally given by the lawyer and the supporting documents to obtain their valuation report also the bank panel valuer as a, a civil engineer will visit the site he will see to it what all the pros and cons of the site depending upon which the value of the site or the building will increase or decrease all those things so when you work under a senior valuator or when you are in touch with a senior valuator the, all these knowledge can be grabbed very easily then practice with a senior for a few years that's what i was about to tell you like you practice under a senior valuator for a few years so that you will understand the in and out of valuation and then you can approach the bank people or the bank manager so to get into the valuation field. So locally why I'm telling because for example you have the transaction in State Bank of India from past many years. What you can do is you can approach the bank manager and you can tell them that I am a civil engineer. I am having the, my account in this particular bank from past 10 years. I want to be a bank panel valuator. So what should the, what is the eligibility criteria you are having? Okay, we are going to see that one also. The SPI 
bank panel uh, eligibility criteria. I am giving an example. Similarly, other banks also will give their own notice in the online, like uh, we are calling for the bank panel value where you can enroll to it, all those things. Okay. So what the bank manager or the bank official will do here is they will check your eligibility. That is whether you are having experience in the bank panel valuations earlier under any senior valuer or what is your experience in construction? What is your experience in the field of civil engineering? So upon depending upon that, they will ask you to submit the documents. Okay. What are the documents you have to submit? We are going to check one by one now. Okay. So before that, you should be the member of any one of these organization which are recognized by IBBI. We are going to see what is IBBI in the next coming slides. Okay. So Institute of, Institution of Valuers, All India Institute of Valuer Foundation, Institute of Company Secretaries of India, ICSI, ROV, Estate Managers and Apprises Foundation. Lot of lot of these kinds of private organizations are there in India. You can be the member of any one of this organization which has been recognized by IBBI. You can go to the description and see, I have given a link over there. You can go to that link and you can see which are all the organizations come under IBBI in the description. Okay. So when you go to this, you will be having the contact number in that website, IBBI website or the email ID, their website. All those information, you can directly go to them. You can ask them, yes, I am a civil engineer. I want to be a member of your organization. They will send they will send all the details according to it and the fee structure and all those things. They will send it to become a member of that organization. Then once you become the member of organization, you can enjoy a lot of things over there. You can enjoy the documentation or what you call the discussions happening inside that organization free of cost. The, they will be having their own magazines, monthly magazines or uh, bi-monthly magazines. They will send it to you. So a lot of information is available in that particular magazine. They will give you the examples of how to do the valuations or the updates, what's happening in the field of valuation. All those things you will get it in that particular magazine or the newsletter, what they are going to send it to you. So these things you can enjoy only when you are the member of these particular organizations. Okay. Now we will see how you have to register to become a bank panel valuator. The first and the foremost thing is you should be the organization, whatever I have told you, it should be under IBBI that is insolvency and bankruptcy board of India. This is a recognized board of central government. Okay. They, these people will conduct the exams and training that is training under these people. Thus those organizations will conduct the training. Once you undergo the training for IBBI examinations, IBBI will conduct online examinations all over India in different places like Bangalore, Mangalore, Calcutta, Bombay, Delhi, a lot of places they will uh, organize online examination. You can attend those examinations, pass those examinations, you will be having that IBBI certificate. It is the supreme now. Well tax and IBBI are the supreme in India. If you are having those two certificates, you can become like bank panel barrier very easily, very easily. So, what is your category of valuator? Like what will be the category? A lot of categories are there in this particular valuation. You will come under land and building immovable properties because land and building cannot be moved. Okay. These are all the immovable properties. Under immovable properties, you will come under land and building. There are a lot of other immovable properties like agriculture land, which is also not movable. Okay. So you cannot do the agriculture land valuation. There are certain other criteria you have to fulfill it to do that valuation. So primarily we understand land and building valuation as a valuator. So the second one, the organization should be recognized. This is what I told you. The members, that organization, what we saw here, the membership in this organization, these organizations should be recognized by IBBI. Again, you can go to the link in the description. You can check it out whether it has been recognized or not. These, the training will be conducted by those organizations and the examinations will be conducted by IBBA for which you will get all the guidance from those organizations. So if you want to be a member of or if you want to get the Wealth Tax Act as a valuer. So what is Wealth Tax Act? That is Wealth Tax Act has been described by Government of India. It will come under Income Tax Act. Okay. To become a registered bank panel or the registered valuer under Indian government or recognized by Indian government wealth tax, you should be having minimum of 10 years experience. What are the documents you have to submit to become a wealth tax act valuator? 
First is the experience letter or the self-declared experience letter that uh, so and so I'm having experience. I'm the bank valuer of so and so banks already. Um, I have done a lot of valuations like this. These are all the different valuations I have conducted. These are all the difficulties I have faced. I have solved like this. So a lot of things you have to put it in your experience letter and you have to submit it to the Well Tax Act Department. Along with that, you have to tell, you have to give a supporting document. Like for example, if you are a bank value evaluator of SBI, they have given you a letter of approval that also you have to submit it along with this particular documents. Then different work executed, that is different bank panel valuations you have already conducted okay those valuations copy you have to attach and you have to give it to the bank for example if you are not a bank panel valuator you have having 10 years of experience as a civil engineer or a structural engineer or as an architect still you can become a valuer under well tax act here what you have to do it do here is experience letter you are going to share your experiences like i have done this much building construction i have done this much residential buildings these are the different buildings that we have conducted. These are all the different commercial buildings we have conducted. Or this is the plan I have done. This is the structural designs we have given. So you have to show your experience. You will not be having any bank panel valued experience, but still they will recognize it. They will suggest to what exactly you have to do to become a valuer under the wealth tax. Then degree certificate, ITR, minimum of the minimum three years ITR, income tax returns you have to be filed and you should be submitted to the along with the documents. Next, as usual, KYC documents. Aadhaar card, PAN card and all those things. So as a bank panel valuer, how much you are going to earn? Okay. So I'm having one more video. I have given it in the I button up there or even you can get it in the description. That is how to uh, earn 1 lakh rupee as a civil engineer every month. Along with that 1 lakh rupee, you add this particular panel valuator amount also. You can earn huge amount of money. So property valuation as a career. We charge for a simple residential building anywhere in between 2,500 to 5,000 rupees. The time of work that is involved in this particular preparation of the report, site visit and all those things, it is not more than two to three hours. So for these three hours, you are getting 5,000 rupees. So if the client comes to you for a bank panel valuation, okay, to get a loan on this property, so he might ask you some additional services along with that. That is, he might be building a new building on his vacant site. You are doing a vacant site valuation. You are charging 5,000 rupees or 3,000 rupees for it. Along with that, he might ask you to give a sanction drawing or approval drawing service at your consultancy for which you can charge anywhere in between three to 7,000 rupees. Next, for the sanction drawing or approval drawing, you have to prepare a report. That is estimation of that particular project. That estimation will be prepared depending upon the government rates, that is SR rates, schedule of rates. You have to refer that book and you have to take the values, recent values, updated values from that book. Description, you have to maintain it, uh, mention it according to that particular SR book and you have to prepare estimate. For example, if you get a complete set of like this, one particular report, you are getting anywhere in between 10, 10 to 12,000 rupees minimum of the minimum for one project one valuation report so becoming a bank panel valuer you can develop your consultancy guys please understand civil engineers are having huge amount of opportunities in the market okay we are not utilizing it properly because there is no, there are no people to guide properly to achieve all these things now i'll just show you uh, the sbi how they have uh, given a public notice on the online platform and even in the banks it is available what exactly they are telling to become a bank panel valuer so see here registered value under provisions of ibbi it should be an ibbi the first criteria or you should be under registered under the wealth tax act or valuer other than enb there are a lot of other requirements they will ask you if you are not registered under wealth tax or if you are not registered under ibbi still you can, you can become a bank panel valuer so they will give you a lot of other annexure 2 and annexure 3 I'm going to show you to you. Okay. So this is how they are going to call a public notice to panel the people as a bank panel valuer. We just see here where exactly they have called it. As a as per the revised guidelines issued by our corporate center Mumbai recently, State Bank of India, Bangalore Circle, that is Bangalore, for the Bangalore Circle they have invited. So you can apply, there are more than 50 or to 60 units of SBI in Bangalore. Okay. If you become a Bangalore SBI panel valuator, you might be asked to do the valuation each and every day in any one of these particular 
units or in the branches okay so we'll see what is the annexure b they have given what are the eligibility criteria we'll just see here the, it is for bonusure circle they have given it here but it is same for every circle the value should be from companies proprietor from partnership from with at least 3 years of experience that is if you are not eligible for a and b then only these things will come into picture if you are come under a and b category there you have already submitted all the documents to them so you will not come under this particular category but these are all the minimum criteria that you have should be having to satisfy case a and b along with if you are not under a and b you can at least go for case c okay member of institute of valuers will be preferred that is iob what i show it to you or any other organization it doesn't matter those already empanelled with the bank so if you are already empanelled with the banks for example i am applying for sbi i am already empanelled with karnataka bank what i can do i can show that letter or i can just attach that letter along with this particular documents so experience what kind of work you have handled so valuer who are registered in department of income tax if you have de registered so the valuer should have academic academic background in civil engineering architecture town planning so it should be there that is bachelor of engineering so lot and lot of things are there. these links also i have put it in the description you can go to these links they have given the bio tax and empanel valuer what exactly you have to attach all those things and you have to give a reference also along with this that is you have to give a known person reference for example if you are working under senior bank panel evaluator for 2 to 3 years he will definitely refer you because he will be knowing you from 2 to 3 years so these are all some of the things that i want to share it with you people to set your career as a bank panel evaluator guys i have practiced under the senior evaluator for minimum of 5 years from 2011 till 2016 with different valuators even my father was a bank valuator so i even i have worked under him also preparing the reports typing the reports going to the site visits taking the building measurements taking and uh, putting that measurements onto the autocad file and taking the printouts of it like i was doing lot of documentation in the beginning of my career then what i did was i was regularly going to the bank to submit the reports so uh, i started interacting with the bank officials the bank manager and i was telling them i am a b civil engineer even i have done my mtech in structural engineering i have told them that i am a structural engineering graduate i have done mtech in structural engineering from manipal institute of technology mit manipal uh, then uh, i was giving lot of structural consultancies bangalore mangalore hyderabad and even uh, most of the places like chennai we have given lot of structural consultancies so i was sharing my experience with the bank officials and the manager regularly when i was going to submit the reports so when there was a vacancy what they did was they called me for the meeting and they asked me whether i want to be a bank panel evaluator or not because they had a person who was already doing all their job unofficially in the name of other person okay when there is a vacancy it is easy for them to access this person apart from putting a new person out there i think you people are understanding now why you have to work under a senior bank panel evaluator so when you are a senior bank when you are working under a senior bank panel evaluator you will get a chance to interact with the bank people regularly so when you are talking with them regularly interacting and you are sharing your experiences when you are sharing your all the degree certifications related documents all even they will guide you what exactly you have to do to become a bank panel evaluator so guys wish you all a very good luck if you have any doubts you can put it in the comment box below i'm here to answer all your queries a lot of things are there with respect to bank evaluator you can consider this as a part 1 to how to become a bank panel evaluator or set up your consultancy we are coming up with part 2 wherein we will be explaining you taking an example of a residential building as a residential site and telling you how to do the bank evaluation how i do bank panel evaluations and how i arrive at the rates okay what all the different documents i'll refer so that is also very interesting we are coming up with that video very shortly so subscribe to the channel for more videos like this thank you